earlier in the spring, I collected some resin from a few of my pine trees. And what I wanted to show you here is an injury on the tree. And sorry, the camera's a little shaky, but you'll see some indentions there and a worker uh, who had come out here to install a satellite dish did that. I was not happy. But anyway, when that happens, the tree releases a resin to seal over an injury. It's a way of protecting itself from infection and insects. Matter of fact, if you've ever seen amber, that's what it is. It's tree resin. And sometimes insects get caught in it. Not in what I'm using. <laughs> but you simply get it in the spring before it crystallizes like this is on the tree now. This is later after it's dried out and crystallized. But if you get it earlier in the spring, you can bring it in, you can cook it down, pick out any pieces of bark or sticks or bugs if you have those, until you just have a clear resin and let it dry and then you can stick it in your coffee grinder and turn it into a powder, which is what I've done. I have my, this is a comfrey infused oil here, and I'm going to be adding an equal amount of my pine resin to that. Now, what's this used for? Well, many things. It has been used by Native Americans for millennia. It has been used, it or continues to be used by many homesteaders, uh, by people who believe in making their own kind of medicines. But what do I use it for? Splinters. We have black locust trees here. So I've shown those, I think, in another video. They have vicious thorns. But we have briars. We have blackberries. We have dewberries. We have mesquite trees. We have the tickle tongue, which I've shown you also in a video. Lots of thorny things here. And cactus. <laughs> and so you can't really avoid getting splinters or thorns or those sort of things. And inevitably, you get a thorn and you pull it out and a piece is left behind. And what resin does is let's say you have an area where you have a splinter or you have some other small infection you can put a resin salve on it it actually increases the amount of redness in the area temporarily because what it's doing is drawing the fluids up toward the surface and drawing blood into the area so that it will open up and release whatever's inside it and just do some research online. There are hundreds of anecdotal stories about how people use resin to draw out thorns or other types of impurities. So, because this is Christmas time or we're approaching it, well, we're dealing with Christmas trees. Poor Santa, can you imagine the thorns, or not thorns, but the uh, splinters that he probably gets? So, this seemed like a good time to make some Santa salve. And, gosh, it smells so wonderful. It smells like a Christmas tree. It really does. That resin smells so delicious. And you can see it's already starting to mix and blend with the oils. And it takes a lot of stirring on very low heat. I've got this, I believe, at 220. And once it starts simmering a little bit, then I'll turn it down to about 180 to 200. And just let it sit here. See how that's starting to create a taffy? That's what you want. So I've now added the beeswax in. And because it's cold, it causes the resin to kind of seize up again. So you just get that melted in there 
and continue to stir until it's all liquid again. And then we can just pour it in our containers. It's really that simple. So now it's just a matter of, uh, I use just a little pipette that I've cut the end off of and start putting it in my little containers. And these little containers are all you need. This will last a long time because first of all, hopefully you don't get splitters too often, but also it's very concentrated. You just wipe your finger over the top and then rub it into the area where it's needed and let it do the rest. Now, if you have an allergy to pine or to evergreens of any kind, obviously this wouldn't be a good option for you. But there are certainly other products that will work great for that. Now I'm going to tell you a secret. It smells like a Christmas tree, so this time of the year, I use this like a cologne. I really do. I put it on my wrists and I put it... Tab it, tab it, dab it behind my ears. And I have got comments before. Have you been uh, around a Christmas tree? <laughs> it's what it smells like. Anyway, I will be sticking this in my Etsy store. I'm only going to charge $2 for it. And that's just to cover the little container and my time. Because the ingredients themselves, no more that's involved in each of these, it doesn't cost very much. And I don't want to take advantage of you. I want to share with you. And the shipping won't be very much on these because they don't weigh very much. This is less than an ounce. Well, it'll be over an ounce with the container and the shipping, but still very inexpensive. So make it yourself or you can get it from me either way. But I would give it a try. Thanks, everyone. I will be announcing the winner of the drawing very soon, too. So... Be on the watch for that. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.